What's up guys, uh, today I just got a quick video testing out some new stain. Uh, so I recently just ran out of my other red and blue that I had. I had the Scarlet from Lowe's and the navy blue from Home Depot. But Home Depot, the one that I go to, is no longer carrying any of the tintable water-based stains, the stuff anymore. So I went to Lowe's, uh, they had a new red called Crimson. They did not have the Scarlet there anymore. And the blue is marine blue. i go ahead and show you the codes on those. So I have uh, never tried either of these colors. I still have my same white from Home Depot, but that should be pretty standard. And you need to use the uh, clear tint base. I think I grabbed the wrong one off the shelf, but, um, and then I got the solid color. You can also get transparent color, but transparent color to me looked like it was a little too transparent. So I'm gonna go with the solid color and we can see how that looks. So I got this flag prepped here, ready to stain. Uh, this is one by two furring strips. And then this is a one by 12 inch common board cut down to the size of the union. Uh, I got all the edges distressed and everything is torched. If you wanna see a more in-depth video on a flag like this, uh, I can link it in the description of my distressed flag that I did. But anyways, we can go ahead and try out the red and then we'll try out the blue after and see how these look. All right, that's what it looks like at the can. And as usual, I'm just gonna be using a rag to stain. Stuff is actually, uh, it's actually pretty solid compared to the other stuff that I use. But we'll see how it looks. All right, so far I think it's looking pretty good. I think I might end up doing uh, two coats on it just to get a little bit of a deeper red, but it's looking really good so far. All right, well that is just one coat on one, but I think I will go ahead and get the rest of these first coated and then give them some time to dry up and then I'll go for a second coat and then we'll see how that looks. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and give the blue a try. And like I said, this is uh, marine blue. All right, so it's looking a little bit uh, lighter than the navy blue that I used to use. I guess we can see how it looks when it's all finished up, but I might almost go for something that's a little bit um, darker. This one almost has like a greenish, a little bit of a greenish look to it. All right, and then I'll let that dry up and go ahead and second coat that. All right, so I got the union stained, and I actually decided that it was a little bit too uh, greenish for me. I don't know how much you can see on the camera, but anyways, I went back to Lowe's, and I was looking at their other colors, and I just wanna show you this here. So I had gotten this one originally. That is what this color is, the marine blue. So I went back and I got some denim blue. So I'm going from this one to this one. I think the colors look a little bit different through the camera, but this one just looks a lot darker and just more of like a deeper blue and not as much of like a greenish blue. So anyways, I am going to just set this union to the side, cut another one, get it all ready for stain and go ahead and stain it with this stuff. And then I can kind of compare them side by side with the red and white stripes so then you can kind of see how they look but I think for me personally I will like this darker blue a lot better but obviously if you like the lighter greener blue uh, that's totally fine too but I'm gonna go ahead get another union uh, cut and ready to stain I'll go ahead and stain it and then we'll see how that one looks all right I got my union all ready to stain so we can go ahead and give this stuff a try all right that's looking uh, 
looking a lot better. All right, so that is the first coat. Like I said, I think it's looking a lot better than the other one, at least for my personal preference. There's a little bit of a better uh, look. But I'm gonna go ahead, let this one dry up, and I'll go ahead and do a second coat. All right, so got that second coated. Um, for some reason, I had the stain kind of dry up on me on that second coat, and it didn't go on very evenly. But I think that was just me. This stuff is pretty thick. It does say uh, right there, it says it's five times thicker for easy application. Uh, I don't know what that is supposed to mean, but anyways, it went on a little, a little bit funky, but I do like the color a lot better for sure than this other color. And I think I'll just have to kind of get used to putting the stain on. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead, get the rest of the flag finished up, put it all together and we'll see how it looks overall. And then we can put it side by side. Uh, with the other stain that I used to use and we can see see how it looks overall so I'll go ahead get it all put together all right so I got the flag all finished up and that is what it looks like so I have a just like a standard flag down here that I did with my old colors and then that one I just did in my last video so that one is with the furring strips also except on this one I sanded them. So I don't know if that would make that much of a difference. But as you can see, it's got like a little bit of a deeper red to it on this one. And then this one looks almost a little bit brighter. But I also only did two coats of the red stain on these stripes. And I did three on both of those. I think I did three on that one. I know for sure I did three on this one. So I might have to play around with it a little bit more and maybe try to do a third coat and just see how it looks and if it gives it like a brighter red. But I think it turned out great. And I think it looks a little bit duller when you have it next to one like this where it looks brighter. But I think if they weren't side by side, it wouldn't really be as noticeable. I think it would look really good. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about it in the comments below. Uh, any feedback or tips would be greatly appreciated. Uh, like I said before, the colors are crimson and denim blue uh, i'd love to hear if you guys have any video recommendations uh, if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe that would help me out a lot thank you everybody so much for watching and please have a great day